This is a new compact turbine I put together. This is just made of high density polyethylene. It's a small model. It's just a few inches across, as you can see. I've clamped it in the uh, rotary table on the machine so I can just blow a little air through it and we can do a quick look at how it operates under compressed air. It takes quite a long time to spin down. The bearings are very good in it. The balance is almost perfect. So this is a small turbine. It took a couple of days to put together on my little handmade, uh, on my little uh, hand-operated machine here. We're at 160 psi. We've uh, cleaned some of the grease out of the fittings, and we're going to fire it up with four lamps. Go ahead. volts. Okay, and that's at 1.71 amps. It's 65. Let me, uh... All right, we're set up on a work light, 165 PSI, meter set for voltage, fire away. Eighty point two volts. Okay, eighty point two volts, and as you can see, all the power is coming off of our little generator here. Okay, going to set it for current. Now just to illustrate how effective a good, good design can be, this table weighs probably around a thousand pounds. We've got a small um, 12 volt DC motor that runs it and I have just successfully moved it at half speed with four AA batteries. So this entire tracking system can be moved with six volts off four AA batteries. Fifty. One fifty. All right. Well, that's just uh, that's red diffracted through the lenses. Actually, it's not actually glowing. Those boilers are getting very hot. Yeah, we need to do something about uh, focal depth a little bit. I think we could lower those down a couple of inches. Okay, and there is some minor alignment that needs to be done. I can see that by looking at all the spots. 175. We're looking really, really good. 175 PSI and climbing. Okay, uh, stand clear of your valve there and vent it, please. Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Still climbing, 200. 200! <laughs> Okay, we had a line blow there, it looks like. 200 PSI and we lost a line up there. Um, let's go ahead and turn the array away, but you can see the incredible volume of steam and the pressure we have here. So we're going to divert it and shut her down for now.